you need me to make another ice machine run? You know, there's some wounds that ice can't heal. <laughs> <laughs> What? You, you have to admit, that was a pretty cheesy line. <laughs> you know, you have a really strange way of apologizing. I'm sorry. It's just, we've been working through this all night, and I think I'm starting to lose it. <laughs> Look, you know how I truly feel. You also know me better than anyone else. I made a stupid decision to protect you when we were kids, and it just kept escalating from there. I wanted to tell you so many times, but it got harder and harder, especially when you started leaving the tickets. I couldn't bring myself to take that away from you. It would be like you finding out that America's Next Top hand model was fixed. Wait, is it? Did you hear something? <laughs> no. I was just using that as an example. <sighs> Okay, because I don't think I could handle that right now. I think I always knew deep down that it was all too good to be true, that I'd never meet them, but I guess a part of me wanted to believe that maybe something bigger would come out of all of this, that it wasn't just about action figures or championships or entertaining millions of people, that it would help me find a part of myself that was missing. But maybe something bigger did come out of all of this. This wasn't about finding two people who would fill a hole in your life. It was about millions of people finding you to fill holes in their lives. <laughs> <laughs> now that was cheesy. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> Maybe. I have something for you. Please don't tell me this is a letter from my long lost aunt and uncle telling me to forgive my best friend. Just open it. What's this all about? It's our new list. On one of my ice machine runs, or maybe it was one of the times you locked me out of the room, I can't remember, but... I made some phone calls to management, and it's unprecedented, but they've agreed to let us get revenge on Brooklyn and Samoa Joe at tomorrow night's WrestleMania. Assuming you're on board. I guess we're coming out of retirement. This has to be some kind of record. <laughs> There's one other thing you need to know. Brooklyn and Samoa Joe agreed to the match, but only if we put our Hall of Fame spots on the line. You really want to do this? If we don't fight back after what they did, then we don't deserve those spots. Package deal. I'm in. Hey, just wanted to let you know, I left two open seats in the audience just like you always did. Why? I mean, obviously my birth parents aren't showing up anytime soon. So was it just for good luck or out of respect or something? You'll see. For the first time since WrestleMania 9, 
the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada, plays host to the showcase of the Immortals. This is WrestleMania. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the season finale of WWE 2K20. My career mode, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to you from the granddaddy of them all, WrestleMania. And before we get this episode underway, be sure to smash that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. Be sure to share this video on social media. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you are subscribed, please turn the notifications on to stay notified. Last night at the 2029 WWE Hall of Fame induction ceremony, we witnessed one of the most disturbing and disgusting displays in sports entertainment history. Last night at the WWE Hall of Fame, the Murphy Dynasty were about to cross off the final objective on their list and just as they were about to do it, Patrick Murphy forgot his pen and Brooklyn Von Braun did the unthinkable. She hired actors to play Patrick Murphy's birth parents only to do the most sneaky, most conniving thing that has ever happened at the at any Hall of Fame induction ceremony. She revealed Kristen Murphy's secret and Patrick Murphy's birth parents we learned were dead. This obviously upset Patrick Murphy big time. He gave the list to Kristen Murphy and would not talk to her. But then the Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe were not done from there. Samoa Joe would show up on the stage, take Patrick Murphy hostage, and threaten to not only kill him, but snap his neck if anyone else came closer to try to save Patrick Murphy. This would allow Brooklyn Von Braun to, to attack Kristen Murphy from behind, but Kristen Murphy did everything within her power. She fought off Brooklyn. She fought off Rhea Ripley and then she would fight off Becky Lynch but the numbers game was just too much for Kristen Murphy and Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe would do the unthinkable as they would push and slam the Murphy dynasty off the stage and then Brooklyn Von Braun would tear the list to shreds. As a result this has been a crazy 24 hours an unprecedented move from our COO Triple H as he has shuffled around our WrestleMania main event. And tonight, and for the first time ever in our WrestleMania main event, a mixed tag team match will headline the showcase of the Immortals as the Murphy Dynasty are set on one thing, revenge. They will put their Hall of Fame spots on the line tonight to get their hands on Samoa Joe and Brooklyn Von Braun and make them pay for everything they have done to the Murphy Dynasty over the past few months. One way or another, this rivalry, this lifelong blood feud will come to a head tonight at Wrestle. Mania, the Murphy Dynasty are coming into this match not 100%. Patrick Murphy suffered a sprained collarbone. Krista Murphy has a sprained back. But that is not going to stop them from wanting to get revenge and get their hands on Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe. Before we go to our main event, here's what happened moments ago backstage. tell us it's not too late to change our minds about the match and putting our Hall of Fame spots on the line, but we need to do this. I wasn't going to say that at all. It's actually way too late to change your minds. The match is happening. Oh. Okay, well, that's good then. I was going to say that if things don't go well, Brooklyn and Samoa Joe can't erase your legacies. Everything you worked for and accomplished won't just disappear. Sounds like you don't think we can win. Look, you both have defied the odds before, but I'm just being realistic. <laughs> when it comes time to honor the Hall of Fame class tonight, we'll be out there front and center.
after last night the Murphy Dynasty are united and stronger than ever before as the lists are falling down the sky it only has one thing beat Brooklyn and Samoa Joe at Wrestlemania the Murphy Dynasty want one thing revenge and they are putting it all on the line tonight to stay in the Hall of Fame and they have a strong new message to send to Brooklyn and Samoa Joe blood is thicker then ego and greed and by golly couldn't that be more true than ever before. This is why I left the two seats. It's time to move on. I'm glad you're here. As a commentator, it is my job not to be biased. It's my job to call it right down the middle. But after what Brooklyn Von Bitch and Samoa Joe did last night at the Hall of Fame induction ceremony, just when you think these two couldn't stoop to new lows, they managed to do it last night. They ruined the Murphy Dynasty's special night last night at the Hall of Fame induction ceremony. And these two scumbags are going to get everything that is coming to them. Brooklyn Von Braun has succeeded in her plan so far. And Samoa Joe has been hell bent on one thing. Destruction. Kristen Murphy is doing everything she can right now to keep her temper in check. You know she wants to get her hands on the bitch standing right across from her. But let's not forget there is no love lost between Patrick Murphy and Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe won that WWE Championship from Patrick Murphy thanks to Brooklyn Von Braun's shenanigans. But unfortunately tonight this is not about titles. This is not about championships. It's only about one thing. Revenge. And here we go. The bell has sounded. This mixed tag team main event is underway. And Patrick Murphy gets caught from his spinning back fist. However, Patrick Murphy has got to avoid Samoa Joe at all costs. We know the Murphy dynasty is coming into this match tonight. Not 100%. And Patrick Murphy had Samoa Joe up. But Samoa Joe is just too strong. And his bionic arm has got the better of Patrick. Patrick Murphy, there's a gut wrench she play, and Patrick Murphy's up. Wait a minute, knee in the midsection, right hand, but it had no effect, and the Murph starts hulking up one more time. Patrick Murphy is hot enough. He wants to put those 27-inch pythons to work. Irish whip, the big boot. Oh, Patrick Murphy missed the leg. Drop and out Samoa Joe has got Patrick Murphy in the cross face, but Patrick Murphy was just too close to the ropes and now a series of kicks by the Samoan submission machine and now Patrick Murphy escaping the clutches from Samoa Joe sling blade by the former Le Champion and now Patrick Murphy tags in his stepsister Kristen. Kristen Murphy has now got her hands on the bitch, Brooklyn Von Braun and Kristen Murphy. Wait a minute, corkscrew sent on. Here's the cover, and no count was made. Kristen Murphy does not want to pin Brooklyn. She wants to punish Brooklyn and make her pay for everything she's done. And Kristen sends Samoa Joe to the outside for his troubles, but. Brooklyn Von Braun takes advantage of the distraction and now Krista Murphy springboard but she hits her tailbone instead. She crashed and burned and wait a minute. 
Irish Shrimp in the corner now. Elbow insecurity by the former Divas champion. And Brooklyn Von Braun now counters that left hand. Collar and elbow tight now, but Kristen pushes Brooklyn away. Kristen Murphy made history at the Royal Rumble when she won the Divas Championship when she defeated Brooklyn Von Braun and got payback for 20 years of pain and punishment. She finally got the better of Brooklyn Von Braun and became the first woman in WWE history to win all five major women's championships. Biohazard pile driver. And that usually is the prelude to Kristen Murphy's bread and butter. She's got the legs. She's got it. Code Red locked in. Brooklyn is moments away from tapping out and Samoa Joe breaks up the Code Red. Oh my goodness. If it weren't for Samoa Joe, I bet you Kristen Murphy would be making Brooklyn tap out right about now. The exact same result that happened at the Royal Rumble. And now Kristen Murphy's got Brooklyn, but Brooklyn counters with a right hand. Head scissors takedown by the current Divas champion. There is one thing all four of these superstars have in common. Hatred for one another. And they want nothing more than to tear each other apart tonight. We know Patrick Murphy. The secret was revealed last night. His birth parents are dead, but he is not letting that stop him from performing in probably the biggest match of his life tonight at WrestleMania. And now here's the tag. Patrick tags in Kristen. Need the midsection now. What do they got in mind? They now got Brooklyn and Samoa Joe. Double snap suplex. Here's the cover. And Kristen Murphy ain't done yet. You don't think she doesn't want to go in there and kick Brooklyn Von Braun's ass? You are dead wrong. Kristen Murphy wants to make Brooklyn Von Braun pay for everything that she's done to the Murphy dynasty. She tried to separate these two. She tried to tear these two apart by revealing the secret, but it did not work as Kristen and Patrick are stronger and united than ever before. And they would like nothing better than to get revenge tonight at WrestleMania. And Kristen Murphy now with a lariat, another lariat. She ducks the clothesline, Mafia kick to the face. And now Kristen Murphy, kick to the midsection now. Biohazard again, dead center on the canvas. And now Kristen Murphy, oh man. Brooklyn Von Braun countered that right hand. She went for a spear, but it was countered with a DDT. And now Kristen Murphy has got Brooklyn Von Braun up. Death Valley Driver. And this crowd in Las Vegas is loving every minute of it. And Brooklyn Von Braun with a boot in the corner. And now Kristen Murphy, she's got Brooklyn up. Fall away slam. And Brooklyn Von Braun just got caught in between the ropes. Kristen Murphy has lost her temper. She has had enough. She only is thinking about one thing with that backbreaker. Payback is a bitch, and Brooklyn Von Braun is getting everything she deserves tonight. Brooklyn Von Braun on spaghetti legs, springboard, tope plancha by Kristen Murphy, but I think that hurt Kristen just as much as it did Brooklyn. High risk, high reward, yeah, sure, but... Kristen Murphy, we know, has that sprained back. And I don't think that did her any favors with that springboard to the outside. And now Kristen Murphy has got Brooklyn up. She throws her back inside the ring. 
And now Kristen Murphy damaging Brooklyn's back some more. These two had an epic battle at the Royal Rumble over the Divas Championship, Paige Turner! This rivalry dates back 20 years when they were both in high school. And Kristen Murphy tonight wants to put an end to this rivalry. Once and for all, she sends Brooklyn to the outside. What could she be thinking here? Suicide Tornado DDT on the outside. Man, what a WrestleMania moment that is. Nothing could be sweeter for Kristen Murphy here tonight. And Brooklyn tosses Kristen back in the ring. Right hand to the midsection by Kristen. Irish whip in the corner now. And now Kristen makes the tag to Patrick. What do they got in mind here? Kick to, wait a minute, no kick in the midsection. DDT by both Kristen and Patrick and Patrick Murphy is not done he's begging for Samoa Joe to get up super kick this rivalry started when Patrick Murphy won the Universal Championship from Samoa Joe and it only escalated from there he wants to put this to rest tonight and now Samoa Joe with an STO to Patrick Murphy and now Samoa Joe has got Patrick Murphy now Irish whip in the corner and now Samoa Joe is turning Patrick Murphy around could he be going for the muscle buster here no Patrick Murphy counters and he hits Samoa Joe with the clothesline Patrick Murphy's going up top awesome splash and I don't think he's done yet with the Samoan submission machine he wants to make sure Samoa Joe pays for his sins and now Patrick Murphy once again up top swan time bomb that should do it Patrick Murphy now posing to the crowd here in Las Vegas and wait a minute Samoa Joe pushes Patrick Murphy in way you're an Aki no cocaine a clutch locked in and now Brooklyn coming in to save Samoa Joe but Kristen catches her she has now got Brooklyn in the ankle lock. Man, isn't it apropos that their submissions are being used against each other tonight? And now they both go down. Kristen's got the leg scrape fine. Patrick Murphy has got Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe could be fading here. They tap. They tap. The Murphy dynasty are staying in the Hall of Fame tonight. They have gotten the last laugh here at WrestleMania. Damn it, does their revenge feel sweet or what? Patrick and Kristen Murphy can now put this feud to rest. They can now live peacefully knowing that they got the last laugh over Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe and they made them tap tonight on the grandest stage of them all. Man, what a WrestleMania moment tonight in this crowd in Las Vegas is giving their respects to the Murphy Dynasty. This might have been our first time seeing one of your matches in person, but we were always watching on TV. We're proud of you, son. Can I, I, I still call you that? Yeah. We have a lot of catching up to do. I'm sorry about that. We all are. It's okay. We, we, we have something for you. There's something making this guy from the arena was selling it online. Was it? Luckily, we've gotten good at puzzles in our old age. Oh my gosh! I thought I lost you, but you did. There's one thing left on there we need to finish crossing off. Patrick Murphy's adopted parents managed to put the list that Brooklyn ripped back together and there is now one thing left to cross off get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame Patrick and Kristen Murphy have realized their dream what a hell of a career by both Patrick and Kristen and now they take their place in in more 
Fatality, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to your 2029 inductees in the WWE Hall of Fame. The Murphy Dynasty stand tall tonight at WrestleMania. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for an incredible year of WWE 2K20, my career mode. Thank you so much for stopping by for the season finale. Without you, none of this would be possible, ladies and gentlemen. I need to give quick shout outs. Special thank you to Kylie Brown for doing an amazing job as Red and a huge thank you to Brett Green for doing a great job as Trey, ladies and gentlemen, this was a hell of a year for my career mode, and what a way to write the fairy tale ending for the Murphy Dynasty, ladies and gentlemen. So, with that being said, what's next for the Murphy Dynasty? Y'all gonna have to stay tuned and find out from all of us here in Las Vegas. This has been the showcase of the Immortals. WrestleMania. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for the season finale of WWE 2K20, my career mode. Good night, everybody. Have a great evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the winners of tonight's match and still members of the WWE Hall of Fame, Red and Trey.